Acurex Pharmaceuticals is working on a treatment for C. diff, which is a common bacterial infection. And they have seen some promising results from clinical trials so far. So with me, CEO David Lucci, great to have you back and get an update on this, because I know these trials have been uh, very promising for you. So bring us up to date on the completed phase 2B clinical trial. What did you see there? Excellent, so, so far what we've seen, and we have two more critical uh, endpoints to announce, which we'll do in, in the coming weeks. So far what we've seen is 96% of our patients, uh, 25 out of 26 in fact, are uh, cured at the end of treatment, and 25, every patient, 25 out of 25, who were cures at the end of treatment are sustained cures. Um, so what that shows us is that in the $4.7 billion recurrent C. diff market, uh, if we can continue that in phase three, uh, we will significantly impact the size of that and save billions of dollars for Americans. Mm -hmm. Can we take just a second and talk about C. diff real quick and kind of lay the groundwork? Like, explain this and what a big problem it is. Sure. Uh, C. difficile is an infection in the colon caused largely by antibiotics that uh, cause dysbiosis or an imbalance in uh, the bacteria in your gut, your microbiome, they call it. So there's a cottage industry now of microbiome therapeutics to try to supplement what antibiotics do to treat C. diff. Um, so C. diff is over a billion dollar market and uh, the recurrent C. diff market is caused by patients whose dysbiosis causes more infections. Mm -hmm. um, so what we're showing is that we're not only showing thus far, heading into phase three, better efficacy data at the end of treatment. We're showing that all of our patients are sustained cures. And in the coming weeks, we're gonna describe for the first time ever, the first antibiotic hours to treat C. diff patients is going out 94 days to show if we're still extended cures that far out. No one's ever gone north of 60 days. So that's a first time thing. If we still have all uh, cures at that extended cure date, 94 days out, um, and the microbiome head-to-head -head data will be presented in that same release, you know, that would be a fundamentally changing of the treatment paradigm for C. diff. And C. diff is particularly common in hospitals and nursing homes. In yes. fact, I think I told you my husband's uncle has C. diff. It's a very serious situation. Yes. He was very sick with that, so. Yep, 600,000 patients per year incidents in the U.S., 20,000 people die. It's okay. life-threatening. So you mentioned in your last earnings call about the phase three trials and how you plan to pay for that. So talk about the financing strategy. How much will those trials cost? So our best estimate right now in advance of the post phase two FDA meeting, which we will have uh, with the FDA in the second quarter, our best guess right now is somewhere in the neighborhood of 15, maybe $18 million for the first of the two phase threes. Mm -hmm. um, so our plan is to run them sequentially uh, or consecutively, not concurrently. We'll do a smaller phase three first, um, it, numbers to be decided with the FDA and uh, hopefully with the enthusiasm we see in, in, on the NASDAQ from that trial data, we will raise additional funds for the second phase three. We already put up uh, in mid November 15th an ATM, which is $17 million in total to add to our $9 million that we had at the end of the last quarter. So we're in pretty decent shape right now going into phase three. Yeah, shocking how much those clinical trials can cost. So yeah. would you seek a, a large pharma partner to work on it, a clinical trial? Oh, absolutely. Our, our goal from the beginning was to uh, attract a large pharma partner after phase two. Phase two now being over, um, we're getting calls. Um, we're formally gonna start our uh, M&A process in late January when uh, we have all of the data, including the head-to-head -head microbiome comparison and the extended cure data. Mm -hmm. um, so that's when it'll formally start, but we've informally started it you know, long ago, and I'm sure I've already met uh, the buyer. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we just have to continue conversations yeah. that are ongoing. Um, but we'll do that alongside uh, preparing for phase three, because you know, we're not two sides of one transaction, and you know we have to see if we get an offer, and if we do get an offer, you know what the board considers uh, appropriate value, and we have to maximize shareholder value one way or the other. But it's two great options to have. Mm -hmm. So, um, what should investors know um, about maybe some upcoming milestones? How, what are some important dates and things they should look for? So, I, I think in the month of January, we should have 
our final two big endpoints out from the phase 2B trial. Yeah. That's the microbiome head-to-head -head and the extended cure data. Both of those things will show the kind of impact our drug will have on the recurrent C. diff market. Again, $4.7 billion market. If the data holds in phase three, what we're seeing so far, um, we think that'll be uh, really exciting news for us. Then we go into the FDA meeting, and then after the FDA meeting, we're gonna take everything that we've done in the US development process, and we're gonna add an international phase three, and then we're gonna go to the European Medicines Agency. Oh. So we won't have to replicate the tens of millions we've spent in the US development thus far in, in Europe. We don't have to do it over again. All we have to do is make sure we have European sites in phase three, and then when we file for approval, or a partner files for approval in the US, they can immediately file for approval in Europe mm -hmm. without another 10 years. Okay. So the first quarter sounds like it's going to be quite pivotal for it'll you be, and the company. Oh, it'll so. be packed. It's yeah. a really exciting time. But uh, there's uh, all of the critical endpoints that we needed to happen have now happened. So now we can relax, enjoy the Christmas holidays. Yeah. Still have your invite. <laughs> That's right, and I'm sure you'll be back in January to update Absolutely. us on all the Ab results. So, Absolutely. Thank you so much, David. Thank you, Jane. Thanks. Happy holidays. Yeah.